Thank you. Got it? Okay. First thing we got to do is set up some little diverter magnets. So the seeds only go down this channel right here. You can use two or three. This is two right now. It should go about like that. So we dump them in here and then go through there. Thank you. Okay, come around here and get the computer. Whenever you're first setting up an application, you need to look at the images. So do that by hitting this shortcut to FPGA. Check the COM port and then start. Okay. Maximize the window. Drop a couple Durham seeds through and look at those pictures. Okay. Now you can see here we didn't catch all of the kernel. That's because these seeds are a lot larger than the ones that we did previously. So we'll close this out and open up our beaver cam interface and then select we're going to do barley it's the largest seed so we're going to select barley can you point at it please where are you barley is right here select barley and then load calibration it says please turn FPGA calibration switch to on it's right here Put it on a little forward press ok and now the calibration is loading onto the cal camera. And it says, please turn FPGA calibration switch to off. Right here. Off. Okay. It says, please turn camera power off. And off. It's okay. So we're done with this for now, but we'll come back to this program later. Now I'm opening the FPGA uh, image viewer again. Start. And now we'll see the images again. Now we're getting a full image. That's Durham there. Here comes the barley. And that looks about right. Close that. And now we'll go back to our Beaver Cam interface program. First thing to do is press connect. And it connects. And step two, it says download image data. And you can download data for 201 kernels. Both of these seeds are about the same amount of lightness. You're too close. Back, 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 back. Okay, there. Both of these are about the same amount of light. I'm going to call the barley light and the Durham dark, but it doesn't really matter. That's just the name. So that's it. I'm going to click here on step two, save dark seed data. So that would be Durham. And then we'll run seeds through. And try to get an image here about how these are coming through. I'm going to make sure that when we're doing a calibration that seeds are coming through one at a time. And it's calibrating, you can't take seeds all that fast. About like that. Can you come around and show the computer? And you see here, the first number here 
every time a seed comes through, it sends a bunch of numbers. The first, the first number is the uh, count of the seed since we started this. It's at 240. So we need 201, so we're done with that. We're going to hit the close data file. Okay. So we have saved data for the Durham seeds now. Now we're going to do the same thing for the barley. Except we'll hit the save light seed data right here. And then we'll run our seeds. Make sure we get all the Durham seeds out of here. Goes the barley. Okay. We've got 219 seeds. So I'm going to hit the close data file. So now we have data for barley and for Durham saved. Now we go to step three of create a new calibration file. We have the data, but we haven't made a calibration yet. And uh, the first thing to do is set the default reject stream. The in the sample we're going to run, there's going to be a little bit of barley mixed with durum. We want to get the barley out of the durum. And barley was called light, so I'm going to make, by default, we're going to set it to reject light kernels, which is the barley, and then hit the calibrate button. Then this little window comes up and it says that the error rate was about 10%. It's done. And, and step 3.2, we can give this calibration file a name. So we're going to call it barley-durum. And then you have to make sure that the dot .cal, dot .cal is still there. And you can't have any spaces in that name. And hit the save button. And that will show up here in our available calibration files. So now we're going to load the calibration onto the camera. And again, we need to select the, the seed size. You want to select the largest seed size that you're going to be running. And that's barley here. And then we're going to select the calibration file we just did, barley-durum. And then load calibration. It says, please turn FPGA calibration switch to on. Switch that on. And OK. Now the calibration file is loading onto the camera, so it'll run without the computer. Now it says turn FPGA's calibration switch to off. Switch it off and OK. Turn the camera power off and off and OK. Now it's all done. Switch it back on. And you can switch the air valves on. And it should start to reject the barley kernels. The air valve is firing, but there's not enough air pressure. I'm going to turn the air pressure up. Right there is about 15 pounds. I'm going to turn it up to 40 for barley. Still missing a few. Let me turn it up to 60. Now it's not going to ball out. Now I'm going to take the magnets off and do some sorting. I'm going to 
pour some durum in there. And some barley. Get a little bit more durum. Mix it up. And now we have some durum with a little bit of barley mixed in there. Second. crop that we had in, was running in here was flats, so it's a lot smaller so that this this little um, nozzle here gate is too low and no, none of the barley and durum will, will come out from between it and the feeder. So I need to raise that up a little bit. So now it looks like they'll come out. And the idea is you want a single layer of seeds as it's, as it's coming up. It's a little bit too fast right there. I'm going to lower that down some. And here, are, there, there's two layers of seeds right here, so that was a little bit too high. Coming through, so I'm going to just pick that up. 